And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Assembly Planter. All right, um, we are just just on the cusp of going extreme with the production, and so I'm hoping everybody has some hints and tips on uh, what goals to go for. Now, I know for a fact in my test world, this shrinker can expand much larger than I initially was told. So they must have come out with an update that expanded this. It no longer ends at like 10 million. Um, in my test world, I have this all the way up to a hundred billion earth orbs. So we, you know, it's 1 million here, then it'll be 10, uh, then it'll be a hundred million, then it'll be a billion, then it'll be uh, 10 billion, and then over here it'll be 100 billion. So yeah, we can expand this even beyond that. Um, so I don't know exactly where it ends, if it's the same size as this. If that is true, then it can go much, much larger than... Uh, then really I have the production to uh, handle right now. I did get another huge giant crate, so we are at 54 million in our stack size. I'd like, you know, our stack size, if we want to expand, if a goal is to maximize the shrinker, then we are going to need trillions in our stack size. And so our, our giant crate game is going to have to get better. Um, eventually, eventually making shiny crates automatically. That's that's something that we're probably going to have to get to. Uh, okay. So, um, I made a new Stardust Maker. Um, it makes 50. This one makes 20. This one over here makes 50 at the same amount of time. So, I'm trying to ramp up stars because we're not going to be able to build more time machines without either trading, which is an option. I mean, this... This may not be impossible, but very difficult with the use of galactite. Um, or craft them right here. 100,000 galactite and 10,000 black holes. So we can up our black hole game already. We've got this set up here. It makes us roughly 16 black holes every 10 seconds. Um, I think we can do a little bit better than that now that we have a lot of resources to work with. I think uh, we can start building up everything because uh, once we get a really good supply of time machines, then production is going to ramp up really fast, like really fast um, at this point in the game. Um, because every time you, you, if you have enough time machines and you start nesting machines in the shrinker, so you put seven, seven time machines, let's say I did this all metals, right? You put the all metals in the middle, you put seven around it. Okay, that ramps up the all metals by 128 times its production. Okay, you make that into a shrinker. Then you take that machine and you nest it again in a set of time machines now you're multiplying it again by 128. So it's, yeah, your, your, your production gets crazy um, at this point in the game. But we got to get, we got to get to that time where black holes can be generated um, in, in large, large amounts. Okay, so we have 50 Stardust. Now for the stars, if we look at our stardust here, so um, it takes 20 stardust to give us a seed, 20. Um, I think we could m make this go from 50 to 1,000 relatively easy. Um, we couldn't do it before because of the galactite cost, but I think now we have you know, almost a million galactite. I think uh, we're beyond the realm of caring. So what we do is we have 20 of these in one machine. Uh, 
Oh, I always do that. And we could do more. I mean, obviously, we have plenty of space in this machine. Okay, so there is a thousand stardust at five seconds. Thousand stardust at five seconds. Okay. Um, that's 101,000 plastic. Not too bad. A thousand galactite, which is affordable. Um, and then the crafter cores. This is why I've got a crafter core. I've got 50 crafter core makers right here. And it's just, it just pumps out the crafter cores because we're going to be going through these like water. Um, so, yeah, I have now a thousand stardust. Okay, so that means we have a thousand of this, which is, take that divided by 20, um, which is what, 50? A thousand divided by twenty, I think is fifty. I'm I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check before I get too deep into this. I know this should be easy math. Yeah, fifty. Okay. Um, so we have the option of taking the twenty-five stars that we have here and turning it into way way more. Um, what I would like to do is we're going to use even more galactite. I do wish I had um, an auto crafter for these. So this will be a little bit more expensive. 10. And then we're going to need some gold sieves. Yeah, we're going to need some gold sieves. So that's over here. 10 of those. Okay. So what we want to do. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is how we fit. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible. We might have to go straight across. Let's do that. Um, that that will exactly fit, actually. If we do. These across. We do the planters. We do the sieves. And this will be a little bit more expensive than I really wanted it to be because of all the pullers that we need. Um, so these are already set to the stars, which is excellent. So this is going to be, each one of these is five, right? Go up here. Grows in 30 seconds, but it takes 5 seconds. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, so that's fine. Each of them takes 20. So that's 100 stardust. Oh my goodness, I already have another giant crate. Fantastic. Look at that. Oink. Stardust is in here somewhere. Where is it at? What? Where is it? Where is it at? I don't see it in here. Um... Why don't, why isn't that in here? You can't, you can't pull stardust? Uh, what? 
That doesn't make sense. I don't remember running into this problem. Um, okay, we're going to have to rethink. If we can't pull Stardust, which is weird. Why, why couldn't we do this? I and mean, we can pull everything else in the game. Literally everything else. I'm just seeing if it's blindness here. YouTube blindness that I can't see it. Definitely. I definitely do not see it. Okay. Um, this must be why. These, these are set to be weird. Okay, well, that is a problem. So, what are we going to do about that? Um, that really, that, that kind of interrupts my whole plan for this episode. Not being able to manage that. Let's see if I can get some in my inventory. So I've got some in my inventory now. There it is. Yeah, weird. It's just because I never had it in my inventory. The pullers didn't see it. Okay. Whoo. All right. Um, that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 Stardust. Per let me copy that. So that's 30 seconds. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. That should only be 25 seconds. Why is that 30? Oh, it's 30 seconds because it's grow time. Yep. Okay. 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, oh, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50 stars in 30 seconds. So if we look at our other one, it's half of that, same amount of time, half of that. Um, so that is going to pull a thousand in 30 seconds, which we have, we actually have five times more than that. So we can put, um, let's see, five seconds versus 30 seconds. So we can have, what, six of these? We can have six of these machines for every Stardust Crafter. Okay, so this is gonna be 50 stars at 30 seconds, <clears throat> 50 stars at 30 seconds. Okay, let's shrink this. Okay, so this is gonna be a thousand, that's gonna be a thousand input. So this, I can run this thing six times, gives us 30 seconds, which gives me six more machines or five more machines. So if we do one of these, and we're gonna do six, and then we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's, let's bump this up to the top, because might as well. Um, 
And then we can bump a couple of these up to the top. And those are oriented wrong, so let's fix that. Because what I want to do, <clears throat> those are going to go down, get distributed in here. Um, I'm going to have this come down. Come in here. 300 stars every 30 seconds. And we are, let's see, 250, I think 25 stars every 30 seconds. So we are increasing our output by a metric ton. 300 stars every 30 seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter off the biomass. I'm going to start filtering out the biomass out of our system so it is a p more pure. That's one of the things... So one of my goals is to have more pure outputs so machines don't back up like this thing i have to filter out the biomass out of here because it's just it's just stuffing it full so 300 stars not really a very good ratio um not at all so what could we do what could we do here to make this better? I mean, yeah, <clears throat> it's already going to be 30 seconds. I could adjust this, but that I want to use these to the fullest. If I double it, that's going to be 600. Um, increase it again, that's going to be 1,200, 1,200 stars every 30 seconds. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how to get, the 50 stars is good. It's the thousand stardust that uh, that is awkward. I'm gonna try to get that to a higher number. Let's try to get the stardust at least. How many we're we gonna need if we want? What are we, four more? I think. So four more crafters would get us to 500 stars. So four more crafters is gonna be an extra that's a thousand that's gonna extra four I'm trying to figure out what I need my stardust at for having ten of these that's that's a lot of stardust Because that's 50... Let's look at this again. That's 6, right? So I want 4 more. And then this, I can run 6 times. So I'm going to be looking at how to change this up. To have four more of these because or can I already do see one of these is yeah six to one let's look at oh this is my the math in my head is the numbers in my head are just swimming around um, so each one of these needs a thousand a thousand every 30 seconds so 10 of these needs obviously 10,000 every 30 seconds let's let's start with that baseline um, try to okay let's go here um, 10,000 at 30 seconds 
and we get stardust every five seconds right so here's the 50 stardust that's ramped up to a thousand um, let's try we're gonna gather all of these again <clears throat> 10,000 every 30 seconds, which is, if we divide that by 5 seconds, 10,000, so that's, yeah, that's 5 seconds. So in 5 seconds, that's 10,000 divided by 5. No. 10,000 divided by 6. Oh, that's going to be an odd number. Yeah. That is not going to work out so well. So, we are going to need to edit this. Now, if we set this up, six, right? Each one of these to six. So, let's see. If we can't adjust these to get us 10,000, okay, we're going to need, Five, that's 5,000 right there at 30 seconds. So let's get um, well six thousand. So each one of these is 250. So four is a thousand. So we need, if four is a thousand, that's four, eight, twelve, sixteen more stardust collectors. Fifty stardust. So we need sixteen more of these. Ooh, another giant crate. Woo! We're up to eighty-one million. Um, and then one of these guys. And all inputted. Is my math off? I feel like my math is off. Um, let's grab you and you. Five, six. I want to say 50. So that's an extra 50 there. That should be an even 10,000. It's hard to tell with the rounding and such. I don't know why that was so off. Um, but that is 10,000 stardust at 30 seconds, right? 10,000 stardust, shrink that. Um, what is this one? A thousand stardust? Yeah, let's, uh, let's shift click that. Okay, so now we should be able, 50 stars... Grab those. With the Stardust output. Oh my god. My mouse is just going crazy today. Okay. And then we're going to filter off the biomass. 
All right, 500 stars at 30 seconds. Right? Okay. Still, I mean, it's as far as expense goes, yeah, it's more expensive than any other machine we've built. 2,700 Galactite. But we have quite a lot of Galactite. So, I mean, yeah, we got quite a lot. 500 stars at 30 seconds. Pure no biomass. So we could shrink this, right? Now, the black holes take 10 seconds to craft. And we still don't have enough black holes to make a single uh, star core yet. It takes 10,000 of those, which is why I'm working on this first. Okay, so we have 30 seconds at 500. So two of these is 1,000 at 30 seconds. But then we could, then we could use... Um, three times that, so what is that, six? Six of these to a single black hole maker. Because the black holes produce, again, um, in 10 seconds. So we have 500 stars, okay, um, so there's a thousand at 30 seconds we need 3,000 so 2,000 3,000 that's 3,000 in 30 seconds now if we integrate a black hole maker in this um, right so we can we can take all of these one two three four five six shove all of that into a black hole maker and that can go into there three black holes in 30 seconds not bad um now if we want to ramp this up we can get some more of these one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, right? So if we want, these are all going to go down. Let's actually bring that, point it like that, take you, and point it like that. Now we want a couple more of these. So you, remember these are pure. These are not gonna put out biomass, so that's good. That's what we wanted. This is gonna be probably our most expensive machine ever. Okay, 12 black holes in 30 seconds. We could even do another one. Let's do another one, because why not? Uh, 500 stars, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We have another black hole crafter. We have one of these. We have this, and we have all of these. There's 15 black holes. That's that's a black hole every two seconds. Okay. That's pretty good. And we could even do another one down here. But 15 is a nice divisible by five number. If we did another one down here, um, it would go to 18 black holes in 30 seconds. And we already have an 81,000 galactite cost. Um, 5.6 million plastic. But 15 black holes at 30 seconds. Let's shrink this down. Let's go over here. And 
And then we're going to take you, and we're just going to try to slow you down a little bit. And then go here. You can see how fast now. This is 15 black holes. You can see how fast that's going up. That is going to help a lot. To get us to 10,000. And it's going to get us even beyond 10,000. Because what we can do, once we have enough, now that this is directly crafting black holes, what we can do, once we have another seven machines, is we can take that machine, nest it in a bunch of uh, time machines, and then, boom, we can bring that out and put that in the middle of a bunch of time machines. And then our black hole setup is uh, going to be more or less, you know, I, we won't care. We won't care at all. Um, so what I want to do, I want to crown, I'm going to take one of these, do this, drop those in, let those craft. Because uh, we also are going to need stars eventually, because if you look at the shiny crates, you can see 10,000 stars. So we are going to need some stars eventually. Um, so having these... Having this craft is is going to be good. But there, so if we take the 30 seconds, um, that's 30 seconds, and it's, 100, it's 128 times faster. So divide that by 128. That is uh, 0.234 seconds. So roughly five, five crafts of that. So that's 75 black holes per second not bad oh look at that we have another giant crate Boink. How, how are we doing on oh yeah we gotta we gotta expand we gotta work on our oh there's so many things to redo so many things um, I got a bunch of huge crate things out here we're definitely gonna want to ramp that up Because we are going to need more giant crates than you can imagine to try to get us to where we need to be. But yeah, let's uh, let's take this. I want to re, re get that. This is working its magic. So that is 200 stars, no input. I don't want to delete that. 25 stars. We can delete that one. 200 stars, no input. 250 stars, no input. Um, I don't think we need this one either. I don't even know why I made that. We're not even using it out here. Um, 20 Stardust, no input. Or 20 Stardust at 5. We don't need that one anymore either. I am going to try to manage this a little bit better. Um... Getting close. Not that it's important, but uh, yeah. Now we look at that. We've already got enough for two star cores. Look at that. That did not take long to build up ten thousand of those with this machine. Now imagine once we get seven more, how fast that'll go up. So definitely, once you get these unlocked, the first thing you're gonna want to do is ramp up your black hole production, which we did. I could put another machine over here as well, and that would even be better, but we need that galactite. And believe me, we are gonna ramp up galactite production as well. <clears throat> All the other metals come up, and you know they're gonna be fast, but galactite, we really want that to be super fast. Ninth out. So five more crafts, and I'll be able to grab these two. So the the sixteen black holes at ten seconds, I can get rid of that machine. Um, eventually, once once this is done, I can get rid of it. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.